Radio, it's the night before. My name's Nick Richardson. Hello, welcome to the show. Thanks for tuning in. Right, uh, we've got a guy with us now who's behind uh, a website called WalletTest.com. And what it is, is it's a website that documents something called the Wallet Test, where, well, let me get him on to explain. Uh, Paul Kinsella, thanks for joining us on the show. Oh, I'm glad to be here. How does the Wallet Test work? Well, I took 100 wallets that were all exactly the same, or at least exactly the same as I could make them, and I put them out in public uh, on, in front of uh, restaurants, uh, in parking lots, and so forth. And then I set up a hidden camera to, set, to see who is it that was picking up the wallets and whether or not those people would uh, return them. I wanted to see how honest the general people in the general public were in my hometown of uh, Belleville, Illinois. So you just, in the one town, you dish out 100 wallets. You leave them there on the floor, and you wait and see who picks them up. Right, and I had a video camera running so that I could record the person's uh, various statistics. Right, I see. So you record, like, what they look like, if they're male or female, that kind of stuff. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, and then what? Well, then I uh, waited to see uh, who would return the wallets and who would uh, be dishonest and keep them. Uh, I had information inside the wallet that had my name and my address and my phone number. So either they uh, mailed them to my house or they called me up, which was usually what they did. They'd call me up and tell me that they had my wallet. Um, now, the wallet contained $2.10 in real money and a f fake $50 gift certificate. Right, I see. So then you, well, how many of your 100 wallets got returned? Uh, the majority of them are returned. Uh, 74%, uh, 74 out of the 100 were returned to me. Right, I see. And then uh, what do you know about the sort of people that are likely to return a wallet? Um, you mean, well, other than they're honest people? Well, yeah, give us, give us your stats. What did you, what did you find out uh -huh. with this experiment? Well, I broke it down by uh, gender, and uh, men were twice as likely to steal the wallets than women. Um, of the men, 39% uh, stole the wallets. Of the women, only 14% stole the wallets. So women were twice as likely to, or men were twice as likely to steal a wallet than a woman was. I was a bit uh, surprised by that. So you're saying that women are more honest than men? In this particular case, yes. Uh, maybe if I would have uh, dropped a hundred or a thousand wallets instead of a hundred, maybe the the uh, differences would have been. I mean, there might have been more difference between the uh, different groups. But uh, yeah, the men in this particular case were more likely to uh, steal the wallet. So, what proportion of men uh, would return the wallet with its contents left in? I mean, was that high? Oh, uh, well, actually, you know, I thought there would be some instances where I would receive a wallet that was empty, but e but it was more extreme. It was kind of rare that someone would take the money out and then return just the wallet. It mm -hmm. was either all or, or nothing kind of a thing between people's honesty. Uh, either they uh, they returned the whole wallet with the money in it, or they just apparently threw away the, the wallet and the ID. That's interesting, yeah. So there was no one who extracted the money and then... Because that's what I... I might do that, Paul. I might pick up the wallet, think, oh, I think that money's probably mine, but here's the wallet back. I'm not saying I would, but I'm saying that's the sort of thing I might do. I can imagine myself doing that. Now, shame on you. Well, yeah, no, you're right, but, but nonetheless, I'm prepared in the interest of honesty to accept that shame. <laughs> Uh, You're being honest about your dishonesty. Exactly. Okay, I, I gotta can... give you. I'll give you partial credit for that. Uh, okay. So, um, how else did you break these results down? I also broke, broke it down by uh, age groups, and uh, young people were uh, twice as likely to steal it than middle-aged people, and three times as likely to steal it than uh, elderly people. So, young people are more dishonest than older people. Uh, by by a significant margin, it was. Uh, I was again. I was uh, surprised. I, I published it warts and all. Wallettest.com is the name of the website. And, uh, yeah, the, it is a controversial uh, survey, but it's fascinating nonetheless. And uh, something else that's interesting about the website is that there were three people who took the gift certificate that was inside the wallet and attempted to cash it. They called my house wanting, pretending to be Paul Kinsella and uh, wanting to cash the $50 gift certificate. So I've had a lot of fun with them on the phone. I tried to keep them on as long as possible and have them answer a whole bunch of uh, boring, nonsensical questions. And so they're ringing and they're trying to claim their cash. Right. Yeah, in fact, we've got some of that audio here. I have a gift certificate. 
in the amount of fifty dollars, and I wanted to know how could I redeem it for cash. Do you know what, Paul? Consider the wallet test, uh, which is uh, uh, controversial but fascinating. I think. Uh, listen, thanks for joining us on the show. Hey, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. What do you make of that then? Oh eight four five six double eight one zero five two. Taking your calls in a second. Oh eight four five six double eight one zero five two. It's Kerrang Radio. It's the night before. So who's that girl there? I wonder what went wrong so that she had to roam the streets. She doesn't do major credit cards. I doubt she does receipts. It's all not quite legitimate. 